Hi everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to share VPNs from a PC or laptop, Windows and Linux to any gaming console like PS5, PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, PS3 and even your TV. Suppose you watch every part of this video and follow along, in that case this will be the only tutorial that you ever needed for sharing VPN. I will also cover typical issues for sharing like when you share a VPN still doesn't work, the internet connection fails or it works on your devices still after sharing your PC or laptop loses internet connection. You get a NAT type 3 or your NAT type fails. There are all common issues with Windows 11 or 10 stable versions, but I'll show you everything that you can do to fix them. So stick around for the most extended VPN tutorial ever. How to share a VPN with LAN port to any gaming console. Please follow every step to not get lost. First, don't worry if your laptop or PC only has one LAN port or even if it doesn't have any LAN port. Ports. I'll show you what to do. Step 1. Connect to the internet. First, you have to connect your PC or laptop to the internet. There are two ways to do that since you should leave your LAN port for your console. If your PC has more than one LAN port or you have Wi Fi on your PC or laptop, you can connect to the main internet by Wi Fi or the second LAN port. What if you don't have Wi Fi or second LAN port? Here are two workarounds. Workaround 1 Using a USB to LAN adapter. These adapters can connect to USB. USB and give you additional LAN ports, so you will have more than one LAN port on your PC or laptop. You can get a USB 3 to LAN model if you need a speedy one. However, USB 2.1 models are also acceptable for 100 megabits per second speed. If you want a permanent option, there are PCIe to LAN adapters with a breakneck speed and connects directly to your motherboard. I have two of these on my PC, they are more expensive though, and you need to be a little expert to install them inside your PC and not available for laptops. Only a USB to LAN adapter will be recommended. Workaround 2. Using your phone USB tethering. This is a free cheap way. If you have a phone that you don't use anymore or you want to use your current phone, connect it to the home Wi-Fi and then connect it to your PC with a USB cable. Go to your phone settings, connection and sharing or portable hotspot. Here you can see an option named USB tethering. It can be in a different location or with another name on your phone. You can search your phone for USB and see if you can find USB tethering. Enable this while the phone is connected to your PC or laptop with a USB cable. In Windows, it might ask you to allow the connection. After that, your PC can use the internet from your phone's Wi-Fi, but with a USB cable. And this way, your LAN port is accessible for the gaming console. By the way, phone Wi-Fi can increase your ping internally. So make sure you are close to the Wi-Fi router or buy a USB to LAN adapter for a stable speed and lower ping. As you can see here, when I'm connected to this router 5G, if I take my IP and test it in the free ping application, you can see the ping isn't stable. And it's much higher than the LAN port. This is the internal ping. When I enter my IP from the router and get a ping, it shows how much the delay is between the phone and router while connected with Wi-Fi. If you have an excellent router or phone Wi-Fi, it might be less than one millisecond, but most of us don't. If you care about low ping because using a VPN increases your ping, it's better to get a USB to LAN adapter. After this, connect a LAN cable from your PC or laptop to your gaming console. We are going to share VPN with this LAN port and cable. I will also show you Wi-Fi sharing later in this video, but you must learn this part to do that too. Step 2. Connect to a VPN. Most VPNs out there will work with this method. All you have to do is to make sure that you are not using a Cisco VPN. I have tested NordVPN, ProtonVPN, VPN, Express VPN, and Speedify. Except for Speedify, depending on the app you are using in VPN applications, go to the settings, for example, Express here, and change the connection method to OpenVPN, UDP, or TCP. This will help us to share the internet easily later. UDP is better if you have a very slow or unstable connection, and TCP is better if you have a fast and stable connection. But try both from time to time to see which one has a better ping. Step 3. Sharing VPN. Search for run in programs in any Windows variant 
system you are using or press the windows key plus r to open run then type ncpa.cpl and click on ok it will take you to the network connections on your control panel if the view looks different you can click on this menu or icons and change it to titles to look the same as mine i have too many connections here but don't worry you will probably have two to four adapters one is your primary internet connection for me it's this adapter if you don't know which one is your connection disconnect it from the router and it will show you this red x then connect it to your router again it will become enabled so you can understand which one is your primary connection your vpn connection also makes an adapter here as soon as you connect to a server for example this adapter belongs to express vpn these tab adapters are also usually for vpns and open vpn connections this proton tab is for proton vpn and this speedify is for speedify vpn take it easy you must check and see which one is connected now and that's the adapter we need to share suppose you don't know or have too many connections on your pc simultaneously like me in that case you can disconnect your vpn and connect again to see which one goes off with the x sign and then comes back that's the adapter of your vpn we want to share the internet of this vpn with our gaming console for example here i want to share speedify vpn by the way my recommended vpns are express and speedify for gaming right click on the vpn adapter go to properties and select sharing tab from this part above check the option allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection this is the first option but it's not shared yet we need to choose where you want to share this vpn to you have to select it from this menu here the lamp port goes to your playstation xbox or any other device you usually don't have too many adapters like me so do not worry i have too many options here because of researching and making these videos turn on your console and if you don't know which adapter is connected to it disconnect the cable and connect it again to see which one becomes enabled do you see this router adapter this is the LAN port i've connected to my console so usually you have one adapter your normal network another one your vpn and a third one connected to your gaming console select the vpn adapter and in sharing tab select your console lan adapter in this case the router is the one that goes to my ps5 and then click on ok if you accidentally choose something else let's say i don't know which one to choose i accidentally select my main connection which is this one what would happen your vpn and internet connection will go up be careful but don't be scared to fix that go to your primary connection adapter double click on it and select diagnose it will take a little time to resolve the issue if it didn't go to properties internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 and change both options to obtain an ip address and obtain the dns server address automatically this will again fix your mistake and after that this time connect to vpn again and be careful to choose your console adapter in sharing tab to avoid any issues what if you want to share vpn with wi-fi hotspot maybe your laptop has wi-fi and you want all your devices to connect to it there is only one difference in this part you should turn wi-fi hotspot on in your windows settings it's named the mobile hotspot in windows 11. after you turn it on right click on it and go to settings it's in the network internet or mobile connections here you can edit the name and password don't change any other settings here some laptops and wi-fi adapters doesn't support hotspot mode keep that in mind too if you want to use wi-fi as primary connection and sharing vpn with wi-fi hotspot you may need two wi-fi adapters after that you again come to network connections in the control panel by typing ncpa.cpl in run and here you will see a local area connection with a number it's named wi-fi direct for me but you can find it the other one called wi-fi is your wi-fi be sure to find the hotspot adapter which is this local area connection after that like what we did for lan go to your vpn adapter sharing tab but this time choose local area connection so it will share the vpn with with your pc or laptop wi-fi hotspot step 3.5 reshare vpn there's a pervasive issue and essential tip for windows users every time you restart your pc or laptop change the vpn server reconnect to vpn or disconnect and connect again you need to go to the network adapter disable sharing and enable it again i've been asking microsoft to fix this issue since windows 7 but they never listen so it's better to learn this workaround otherwise this method is stops working the second time you try to do it step 4 console settings after sharing the vpn 
VPN, now it's time to go to your console settings. Suppose you did share with LAN. Typically, after choosing LAN with the automatic connection, in that case, it should be able to get the connection and connect to the internet on PS5, PS4, PS3, and Xbox. For Nintendo Switch, you can only share with Wi-Fi as far as I know. If your Nintendo has a LAN port, it can be very nice. What if internet connection sharing doesn't work? If it doesn't work, you must enter IP address manually. I will show you how to do it on PS5, PS4, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Nice, huh? So in all consoles, you must go to network settings instead of automatic and select manual. For example, on PS5, I can do it by pressing options in the network name and going to advanced settings. Enter these IPs, subnet mask, gateway, and primary and secondary DNS. And submit them so your console will connect to the VPN connection with no issues. What if NAT type, PSN, Xbox Live, or Nintendo Live fails? It's usually due to DNS or VPN servers. First try using another DNS on your console. If it didn't fix that, change the VPN server to another one. Then share again and that should fix the issue. As well as check PSN or Xbox and Nintendo Live. It's because some VPN servers or hosts might be blocked for some reasons. For example, many services block OVH IP addresses, so it may not work in the game if your VPN is connected to an OVH IP server. It would help if you tried another server. What if this method only works with Wi-Fi for you and not LAN? What if IP works well but internet fails? What if after connecting to a shared VPN, Windows loses its internet connection? All these three problems comes from one and Answer. Microsoft updates. Usually most Windows updates run this feature in Windows. Why? Ask me. Because Microsoft can't release a stable version of internet connection sharing. Please don't swear at me in the comments. Still, I've struggled with Windows ICS for over a decade since I was a kid. So how to fix Windows 11, 10, or 7 if internet connection sharing doesn't work? There are two ways. One is free and one is paid. The free way. Search in Google your Windows version. For example, I remember the Windows 11 KB5014 update ruined ICS and internet connection sharing. People made posts about it in the Microsoft community and an update after that ruined LAN sharing. The next update ruined Wi-Fi sharing. So you can actually uninstall a part of Windows updates that affected internet sharing to fix this issue. Press Windows plus I, go to Windows update, update history, close these panels and select uninstall updates. You can uninstall many of them, but which one should you uninstall? It depends. If you recently got this issue, uninstall the latest Microsoft Windows KB update, but I have two of them here. Maybe the other one caused this in the past. You can uninstall both both and nothing will happen to your files or apps by the way. You can also search in Microsoft community about it. People usually say which update broke it, where he says the exact number. If you uninstall this, it'll fix the issue. There are also some apps and ways to prevent Windows from updating itself again to this version that actually Windows will skip this and will wait for the next update. There's an app named Hide Show Windows Updates. You can hide that broken number of Windows update until the next one comes after uninstalling installing it. But it sounds complicated and confusing, right? Why the heck isn't there any easy way for it? There is. You pay $10 and save your day and life. Easy way to share Windows VPN to any gaming console. I'm not the owner of this app and I'm not affiliated or anything with them. I recommend it here because I've been using this cheap app for years and it works like a charm. Using Connectify with Speedify VPN. I've been using Connectify for over 5 years. It has a free part that lets you share a VPN with Wi-Fi hotspot and it works perfectly without any issues on Windows. Even if my Microsoft ICS is broken, this app works fine, that's why I like it. But to make it more advanced, I mean sharing VPN to LAN port, you must buy it. It has different plans on the official website. I purchased a lifetime plan and got free updates. Remember, I'm getting no money from them. I'm trying to give you a good option. With the paid version, you can share from LAN to LAN, Wi-Fi to LAN, or LAN to Wi-Fi, or even turn your PC into a Wi-Fi repeater. Many things are possible. It also works with Nord and Express VPN if you use them with an open VPN adapter, any VPN that uses OpenVPN protocol for connection. But I recommend using Speedify 
5 VPN for this app as it comes from the same company. When you set the game mode to your console, it will give you NAT type 2 on the console. Even if your connection is NAT type 3, by using Connectify and Speedify, you will get a moderate NAT type on all consoles. Speedify VPN has a free 2 GB test per month, so you can download it for free, connect and try to use it with Connectify. Even Connectify has 30 days of money back, then if you are happy, buy them easy by the way suppose you ever wanted to share speedify vpn with windows connection sharing and not connectify you must go to the vpn settings and disable ip leak protection and internet key switch otherwise it will not let you use wi-fi hotspot but connectify with speedify is the easiest fastest and most stable way to share vpn from your pc or laptop to any device so how to use connectify after getting the paid version in the settings tab choose which method you want to use for example I share through LAN so I use wired router. If you share with Wi-Fi use Wi-Fi hotspot. Choose internet to share. If you don't see anything click on this refresh button a few times. I choose Speedify here. Access routed and share over is the LAN port that goes to your console. In my case it's Intel. If you don't know the name press Windows plus R to open run. Type ncpa.cpl and in network connection settings while the view is on the title check which adapter was for your console. In my case, this router. The name is here, Intel or Ethernet. If you don't know which one is it, disconnect the cable while the console is on, it will get an X on it. And when you connect again, it becomes enabled. And you usually see this unidentified network. This is fine. So the name is here, my LAN adapter. If you have a USB to LAN adapter, it's more obvious. Look at the title of this one, USB 3.0 to Gigabit Ethernet adapter, and even the brand name, D-Link. So yeah, it's not complicated. Complicated. If you choose the wrong adapter, the blue one, it will show you this warning. Wired only mode will disconnect the internet. You are trying to share the wrong adapter, so don't do it. Your console adapter will usually be gray. Sometimes it might not be gray though. This ad blocker also blocks ads that I love, not YouTube ads by the way. And then start hotspot and wait until it starts. You can see your IP location and connected devices in the client tab with the device's IP address, data usage, and speed monitoring. If you right click on the client's name, you get game mode to moderate the NAT type. Choose one of these for your console, you can rename it, set a static IP address, disable internet or local access to other devices. You can disable these banners, change the theme and many more tools in settings and display. But I won't waste your time. Now it's time to go to the console settings. By the way, if this video is helping you and you like to support this channel for more network tutorials, you can become a member with the link in the comment section. No force at all, only if you like. Thanks. When you share with Connectify, you connect to LAN or Wi-Fi or LAN port. If you get any errors on your console, changing DNS in your console settings will fix it. That's the only issue I found with Connectify in Windows 11 beta update. Otherwise, you may need to do nothing. So if NAT type failed or PSN failed or Xbox failed, change DNS on your console on PS5 by going to advanced settings, switching to manual and entering 1.1.1.1 and Google. DNS. On PS4, choose custom and manual on DNS part. If you still have issues, change the VPN server. Sometimes some servers might have problems, which is rare but happens. How to share VPN to more than one console? If you want to share VPN to your phone, console, and all other devices simultaneously, you can buy a cheap router. I purchased a Xiaomi for a gigabit router just for $30. It has two gigabit ports, Wi-Fi 2.4 and Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz that works well for short to medium range. That's why you see this name router here, not PS5. I connected LAN from my PC to my router and set it up so the router would get internet from it and share it with everyone with LAN and Wi-Fi to all devices. It became a VPN router for a low price with the help of my PC. Now in the router app, I can limit the speeds, monitor other people in the house and even set a time that they can use this VPN router. Deny their access at night for example, my dad or my mom's phone limit her speed, block her access to some websites and more. The perfect solution for everyone in the house. Ultimate free VPN sharing solution for Windows and Linux. 
As promised, this video is ultimate. I want to cover another lovely way to share VPN from Windows and Linux. It might be a little harder to follow. Still, it gives you ultimate control over VPN, internet, and everything else. We're gonna use a Linux VM, which means virtual machine on Windows and install VPN on Linux. Then we share the VPN with Linux to our devices or router. What are the benefits? Linux internet sharing is much better and more stable than Windows. When you share with Linux, you can control your Windows connection, which means Linux is sharing VPN. Still, you don't have to have a VPN on Windows or connect to a VPN on Windows anymore. It's basically like you are making a virtual router inside Windows that has everything inside it, from VPN to sharing. From there, Linux controls your LAN adapter and not Windows. However, suppose your PC is so weak, this method isn't recommended since you will run 2 different OS on one machine, which can slow your device. Linux is very light and doesn't need much CPU or RAM. Still, it's better to consider this. What are the cons? You can only share VPN through LAN in this method, not Wi-Fi. Maybe there is a way to do that as well, but I'm not sure about it. Since teaching you how to do it on Windows, installing Linux, and all other steps takes a lot of time, I will keep it for the second part of this tutorial. If you'd like to see how to share VPN with Linux VM on Windows, let me know in the comments section. I'll make it. I also put the link in a card above in the description and the comment section but it would be better and easier if you buy and use connectify what is the best vpn for gaming overall i made a video about this topic before covering experts and more vpns you can check the link from the card above or in the comments section for this tutorial, Speedify is the best choice. Can VPN fix NAT Type 3 for gaming? Yes, Speedify with Connectify will give you NAT Type 2. Using Express Nord or Proton VPN gives you NAT Type 2, still with Windows sharing, not Connectify. It's a bug in Connectify and I did report it. Hopefully they will fix it in the update. Can VPN change Call of Duty locations? Yes, the methods I showed in this video will work for any game. Still, you can check this playlist from the card above or the link below for more methods that work on games, like using a rooted Android phone. How to get open NAT type for any game? If you want to get open NAT type in any games, oh, check this video next where I showed you three methods that works for getting open NAT type in all games. Link is in the comment section as well. I'll catch you there.